complete the doublet. So when I have a um, in, in this um, with this treatment regimen, we already have quite a lot of experience and, and a lot of safety data. And what we observed in our trial and the Gaia trial um, was very much what we had expected. So hematological toxicities, neutropenia, um, low platelet counts, um, but also uh, infectious adverse events like upper respiratory tract infections, pneumonia, um, but to a degree um, that did not um, go or that wasn't above what we would expect with this combination. The um, spectrum of um, side effects was a little bit different when we added ibrutinib. So with the triplet, we did see more um, ibrutinib associated adverse events. So we had significantly more cardiac adverse events in this group. We had more um, infectious adverse events. And we also had more, um, you know, atypical infections like fungal infections, invasive fungal infections, um, and we did see more bruising. Um, so basically, what you'd expect when adding a BTK inhibitor. Most of the toxicities are very well um, known, and most physicians would know how to how to manage them. Um, it's, it needs to be said that this patient population we looked at does not necessarily represent a typical CLL population. Um, in the real world, we had, I think, younger patients and rather fit patients with a low burden of comorbidities. So um, I think that's why the safety outcomes were also quite um, yeah, um, what we expected. If you looked at the same combination, especially the triple combination in older patients, frailer patients, I think you would definitely need to pay more attention um, regarding um, co-medication, comorbidities, and so on. Um, because when you add venetoclax, a BTK inhibitor, and a CD20 antibody to an already existing um, yeah, multi-drug uh, regimen that the patient takes for um, his comorbidities, you really need to be careful. Um, but in this fit patient population, there were hardly any um, surprises regarding toxicities. And so I, I would say most physicians would uh, easily know what to do in these cases.